I like to give people an update about the state of the school all the time and in the beginning of the school year, maybe it's because I'm a teacher, I, I talk about curriculum and the dynamic between teacher and kid and the alignment with the parents. At this time of year, maybe it's because it's winter, I tend to think more about the, the business position of the school, the strength of the school financially and I, I love to give people a glimpse into where we stand as a, as a business. A good part of the last couple of years, uh, I and my team have been rolling up our sleeves and really getting into the, the guts of the school as a business. And now we're able actually to plan for the future, build strength. Uh, for us, that means making sure that uh, our rainy day bank account, our reserve funds are strong and back to the way where they were in 2008. It also means making strategic investments that people can feel now, but that really point toward the future. In mid-January, I celebrated 25 years at Carolina Day School. Of course, during that time, I've worked for several different heads of school and many dedicated trustees. And I have never been more confident in the school's future and the way in which it is being managed as I am now. I'm not transparent just because it's a good thing to do philosophically as a leader, but it's part of the relationship with parents. Parents make tremendous sacrifice to send their kids to this school. It doesn't matter where they are in the economic spectrum, it's a sacrifice. And I owe it to them to explain what are we doing with those resources to take care of them. When we talk about strengthening the position of the school and looking at where we're going to be a few years from now, that's a team approach. My administrative team is strong and even getting stronger. Bringing in a new CFO has been a real boost of energy and confidence for us. Rob MacArthur brings experience from not only uh, another independent school with similar challenges and opportunities and he did great things there. But before that, uh, corporate experience uh, in the high technology field, uh, working for Intel, Apple, and Compaq Computer. I spent an extensive amount of time going through the audit reports and other financial statements during my interview process and doing that due diligence and came to the conclusion I felt very good about where the finances were for the school. And being here for the past month has just solidified that, that the, the school's finances are very strong. The uh, balance sheet's in very good shape. The school has relatively very little debt. The processes that Tom and the administrators have put in place relative to managing expenses I think are very good and uh, very solid. The board is a really important part of the team uh, that's working on the strength of the school as well. I think it's, uh, a strategic planning committee is, is important for the school and I think now that Tom's uh, been the head for two plus years, it's the appropriate opportunity to take advantage of his knowledge and the, the board's commitment to the school. I'm, I'm very excited about, about where the school is heading. It's natural when we're talking about the state of the school, its strength and its position relative to where we hope to be. Uh, to look at some numbers, quantitatively, financial is special, especially. Uh, I think it's really important not to lose sight of people's choices in engaging with the school and what they see in your school. Uh, and the two areas that I look at are admissions and inquiries and also alumni. This is a really exciting time to be a member of the Carolina Day community and all of this enthusiasm has translated into marked increases in both inquiries and applications to Carolina Day. For example, our incoming ninth grade application pool is triple what it was this time last year. What this means for admissions is that we can be more selective and that those new students joining us pre-K through 12 are absolutely the best and brightest in Western North Carolina. Likewise, we can look at alumni engagement. Uh, their choice to be proud of their school, to associate with it, and the biggest choice is to come back and visit the school. It's exciting to hear that so many alumni from across the history of Carolina Day are re-engaging both financially and with their time. I really think it speaks volumes about where the school currently is and where it's headed. It's the nature of being a head of school or leader of any community or organization that I'm always thinking about what we haven't yet done or what we need to do better. When I take a step back and listen to other voices, 
What I hear is people like what we're doing. They like where we are, and they're really optimistic about where we're going. They feel confident about it, and they want to be a part of it.